Hey class, this video is intended to help you with CAP 5. Um, in this CAP, I want you to do all three, right, of these things. So it's not a choosing one of, the, uh, one of these. It's doing all of them. So the first part of the paper, and again, I'm talking about 40%, 45%, which view provides the best moral framework for wealth and distribution? Nielsen or Oscars. At this point, you might really not like either of them, but you think one is better than the other. That's all I want. Which one is better than the other, and why, right? Why does Nielsen provide a more moral argument than Hospers, or why does Hospers provide a better moral argument than Nielsen? At this point, I kind of want you to use some, one of the theories, right? If you say, I think Hospers is better than Nielsen, why point to utilitarianism? Use that logic. Or point to the ontology. Use that logic. Or point to virtue theory. Use that logic. Don't try to use all the moral theories from the first half of class. Choose one and make your argument using that one. So the primary argument is going to be utilitarian in support of Nielsen, or utilitarian in support of Hospers, or deontological in support of Nielsen, or deontological in support of Hospers. But don't try to do all of that, right? So again, this is like 40 to 50% of your paper. Maybe even slightly more than that, number one here. Second, let's assume you chose Hospers. What concerns do you have about Hospers? What are some of the things about his theory that make you nervous? Or maybe you chose Nielsen. What about Nielsen makes you nervous? Where does he go too far? What questions do you have? Where are you skeptical? Okay. In light of the fact that you think Hospers, for instance, is stronger for utilitarian reasons, you've mentioned some of the problems you have. For this last part, and I'm talking like the last 25%, you want to say, what's your hybrid view now? How, what's the ideal way of distributing wealth? Maybe you think Hosper is as close, you have some problems with him, which you answer number two. Now you're going to say, here's how my view would look. Here are the changes I would make to Hosper's. Well, here are the changes I would make to Nielsen with regard to wealth and distribution. Right? So 50% number one, 20% or so number two, 30% or so number three. Let me say that again. The paper's going to be about 50% number one, 20% number two, 30% number three. That should form the paper. Those are rough. It might be 40 here, 25 here, 25 there. But again, that gives you a sense of what I'm looking for in terms of balance. Who's the strongest and why? Use a moral theory from the first. What are some problems you have with the person you chose? What's the, what are the changes you would look for, you would make to create your own uh, improved theory? I hope this helps. Um, this is going to be, I think, a, a, an important paper, an interesting one, given where we're at as a country with wealth and distribution. And I'll be curious to hear your arguments. Again, you don't want to come out biased, calling names. You don't want to come out assuming all of that group are liars or this. You want to be very rational about this, use arguments and data and other things about why your view is strong and at least should be considered, right? All right, good luck. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you online.